When you are working in ArcMap, the software will, when you add data, assign random colors and uh, symbols to your data that you are adding. You will have to then change these to better, better represent what you're actually trying to show. So in this screen, you can see I have multiple data files and I would like to show them appropriately. So how do I do that? For example, I've got boreholes. Now here, they've been actually drawn by default in blue, which is suitable for water. But I can actually change that as well. So I just simply click on the symbol itself. It calls up the symbol selector. And I can try to search for something like borehole. It doesn't mean that I'll find anything. But here we have we've got borehole with the pH, which is according to a standard. So we can use the borehole point in, a, in soil as the standard. Or we can, for example, just have a general BH just uh, to show us that there is a ball in that place. We can also make the symbol a little bit smaller, make it a 10 point so it doesn't overtake the the map. Now we also have roads. Now here they're drawn in blue which is not suitable because roads should not ever be drawn as blue. The color is reserved for water. A blue generally means a river. So a blue feature generally means a river. So what do we do? You can search for roads. For example here, proposed road, undefined road, a narrow road, a major road. These roads are mostly undefined, so we don't really know what they are, so we'll just give them a gray color there. We also have a railway line. Here we have a railroad. That is an accepted international standard. What we'll do is we'll also rename this feature into rail or you can also call it railway or anything like that. At the same time, we'll also rename the borehole layer, always singular descriptors for items in the legend. Then we've got farms with boreholes, we've got suitable farms that were assessed according to attribute selection, got a nature reserve. This is actually quite a useful layer, so we can change this. We can have a look if we can find anything. Let's see if we can find anything for a park. Park and open space, not really that useful. How about a nature reserve? can't find anything. So park seems to be the, be the best option. We can use a just a simple green um, fill for that. Then we have the farms outer layer. We'll deselect previously selected features. Now what we can do here is we're just interested in the outline, so we're going to give it a hollow symbology. There we are. We also have a land use layer as various land uses which you're not really that interested in at the moment and then of course we have the environmental geological layer as well but this is basically how you would change the symbology of your different layers so here we have farm outlines boreholes are indicated roads are indicated as is the railway line now the farm outlines are black so they're not easily seen um, or differentiated from from for example the railway line so what we can do is we can actually change the outline. We can give the outline color, maybe give it a gray color, which is a little bit better. The problem here is that now it looks like the road. So now we have to change the road. We can change that to an arterial street. It looks like that. You can also change the color, of course. It doesn't have to be according to standard. It can be slightly different, for example, brown. And you've got a different descriptor. And that is how you change symbology.